Last time I fought was February 18th. I fought I Tomonori Sato in Japan. My performance in that fight was, yeah, I didn't get to really show much. The, um, the fight was ended pretty early um, because of the cut. He wanted to continue, but they wouldn't let him. So I'd like another chance to fight out there and show like more, more rounds, you know? What helped my career in the beginning was um, a good, strong team, you know? They uh, help you build a foundation, a good base. You know, you need you need good people surrounding you, good people giving you good advice, you know, or you're screwed. I got I got a couple of years left, you know, maybe three max left in this sport. Hopefully, I can accomplish everything that I want to do. You know, what do I want to do? I want to uh, I want to fight in, in, in a few more countries, but mostly I want to I want to try and get to Thailand. That's that's my goal. That's where the best are, you know. Thailand, that's where the best are. You know, I'm not saying I want to go there and, and fucking become the best, but I want to see how how I measure up against against the best in their sport, in their best weight class. You know, I, I know foreigners um, to Thailand have done done great, but well, you know, in the in the in the fifties, in the heavyweights and all that, but the ties are small. You know, and to to try and, and do good against them in their own sport at their weight class where where they rule. Oh, that would be awesome. Um, my last fight was boom. It was uh, it was pretty it was pretty scary in the beginning. Um, he uh, just kept grabbing me, clinching me up, and I was freaking out in there. You know, started to find my range, started to move my feet a little better, and then uh, uh, things started going a little better for me. And then he's, I think he started to tire. You know, and so I, I, I caught him. He was straight and pressed me. He's a, he's a strong dude. I, I watched the fight after, and and I remember those the, the elbows he was throwing. Holy shit! Throwing. I'm so glad they didn't hit me. You know what I mean? Because if they if one of those things was connected, that would that would suck. I'm gonna train this. I'm gonna train the same the same way I trained for, for the first fight. I'm just gonna get ready. I kind of know what to look for, you know, but I'm going to just I'm gonna train normally. I'm going to try and take away that first round. I'm going to try and go from where, where we left off, to, you know what I mean, the last round. I was, I was moving a lot better. I'm going to try and go back to where we left off. Romy? Yes. What is Can't Stop Crazy? <laughs> I don't know. Joe's texting me right now, though. <laughs> what happened? What is Can't Stop Crazy? <laughs> They're just cool people, man. We, 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 we see each other around all the time because, I mean, the Muay Thai community is it's a small community, you know? And just, they're cool, we're cool. Some, some people are not so cool, you know? Some people are fucking real cool and, and these guys are cool. So we, we, um, we got together and me and David would, uh, would spar a little bit. Um, Joe, Joe would come down for sparring as well, and then we just bullshit and we're all, we just figured we're, we're all kind of like the same, you know, so we get along pretty well. If you weren't a professional fighter, what else would you be doing? I don't know, man. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Next question. <laughs>